सी आई टी पैथोलॉजी देर इज़ अ टॉपिक ही आर्टल हर्निया इट इज करेक्टराइज बाय सेपरेशन ऑफ डायफ्रोमेटिक क्रूरा एंड इंक्रीज स्पेस बिटवीन मस्कुलर क्रूरा एंड द इसोफेजियल वॉल इट कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप स्लाइडिंग हर्निया एंड द पैरा इसोफेजियल और द रोलिंग हर्निया इन दीज द स्लाइडिंग हर्निया इज कॉमनेस्ट एंड अकर इन नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ पीपल and the sliding hernia is characterized by upward dislocation of cardio as you uh, the cardio esophageal junction esophagitis the inflammation of the esophagus occur in this sliding hernia the para esophageal or the rolling hernia a part of the stomach enter the thorax without any displacement of car- cardio esophageal junction In paraesophageal or the rolling hernia, which occur in five percent of the people, uh, a part of stomach enters the thorax without any displacement of cardioesophageal junction. Here, the uh, there is difficulty in swallowing. Dysphagia is common, and the chest pain is also present in the paraesophageal or the rolling hernia. Treatment is achieved by the surgical repair of the defect. Now there is Mallory Wiss tears. Mallory Wiss tears are mucosal tears in the esophagogastric junction or the gastric cardiac mucosa. The Mallory Wiss tears are mucosal tears in the esophagogastric junction or the gastric cardiac mucosa caused due to vigorous vomiting in the alcoholics. In the alcoholics. and in 90% of cases the tear is present immediately below the squamocolumnar junction at the cardia whereas in 10% cases it is present in the esophagus in 90% cases the uh, tear is present immediately below the squamocolumnar junction at the cardia whereas in 10% cases this uh, tear is present in the esophagus these tears never involve the muscular layer of esophagus in borhaf syndrome the rupture of all the esophageal layers is seen including the muscle layer most common uh, location of the perforation in the st- syndrome is in the left left posterior lateral part for 3 to 5 cm above the gastroesophageal junction esophagitis is the inflammation of the esophageal mucosa is known as phagocyte uh, phagoitis esophago esophagitis inflammation of esophageal mucosa esophagitis and the reflux of gastric contents into lower esophagus is the most common cause the diagnosis for this is reflux esophagitis is 24 hr ph study 24 hr ph study diagnosis of reflux esophagitis the reflux is also associated with obesity alcohol intake smoking pregnancy overeating now there is barrett's esophagus barrett's esophagus is the metaplastic change metaplastic change in the esophageal lining in which the squamous epithelium convert into columnar epithelium due to prolonged gastroesophageal reflux disease due to gerd this barrett's esophagus occur due to prolonged gerd the gastroesophageal reflux disease it is classified as long segment if it occur in more than 3 cm of esophagus and or the short segment if it occur less than 3 cm microscopically esophageal squamous epithelium is replaced by columnar epithelium in the barrett syndrome the diagnosis is made by the col- uh, when the columnar mucosa contain intestinal glo- goblet cells barrett's esophagus is the most risk factor for the development of esophageal adenocarcinoma the intestinal goblet cell differ from the normal mucus secreting foveolar cells of the stomach by the presence of distinct mucus vacuoles 
the distinct mucus vacuoles does not present in the gastric valvular cells but this distinct mucus mucus vacuoles present in the intestinal goblet cells now the barrett ulcer is the ulcer in the columnar line portion of the barrett's esophagus the carcinoma is of uh, the carcinoma of the esophagus cancer affecting individuals of the mid to the late adulthood which is of two main types the squamous cell cancer and the adreno carcinoma the risk factor for squamous cell cancer are tobacco alcohol consumption hot beverages or food long standing esophagitis ecclesia cardia pul- uh, plumber vincent syndrome ingestion of the n- nitritis in diet nutritional deficiency of vitamin a vitamin a c riboflavin zinc molybdenum tail losses at uh, uh, palmaris long standing celiac disease other condition like ectodermal dysplasia and the epidermolysis bullosa genetic alternation include amplification of the cyclin d1 the cmyc and the epithelial growth factor receptor e gfr the epithelial growth factor receptor the triad of plummer vinson syndrome iron deficiency anemia plus esophageal webs plus glossitis the investigation of choice in the esophageal cancer is endoscopy and the biopsy the most of the cancers are well differentiated in the uh, well differentiated and the macrophageal patterns include the exophytic uh, protruding lesion in the lumen the flat diffuse infiltrative form spreading in the esophageal wall ulcerative lesion the barium swallow technique in esophageal cancer shows the rat tail appearance of the esophagus risk factor for adenocarcinoma are the barrett's esophagus tobacco exposure obesity the genetic alternation include over expression of p53 amplification of ceb erb b2 and the nuclear translocation of b catenin biomarkers of disease progression microscopically most of the cancers are mucin producing glandular tumors exhibiting intestinal type features multiple flocae of uh, 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 dysplastic epithelium are present adjacent to the mucosa clinical features include progressive dysphagia difficulty in swallowing more for swallow solids as compared to liquids and the weight loss chest pain the vomiting lymph node metastasis is dependent on the anatomic site of the primary tumor cancer in the upper one third of the esophagus uh, metastasis metastasis to cervical lymph nodes cancer in the middle middle one third of the esophagus metastasis to the paratracheal medi- mediastinal and the tracheobronchial lymph node mediastinal is the space between the two lungs cancer in the lower one third of the esophagus causes the metastasis to gastric and the celiac lymph nodes the treatment is mainly include the surgical uh, with the partial or the total removal of the esophagus esophagectomy most common type of esophageal cancer in india squamous cell cancer most common type of esophageal cancer in upper one third of the esophagus is squamous cell cancer most common type of esophageal cancer in middle one third is squamous cell cancer most common type of esophageal cancer in lower one third of esophagus is adenocarcinoma